Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on how to install React.js with Laravel, leveraging the power of Inertia.js and Breeze. In this video, we'll walk you through the process from start to finish, ensuring you have all the tools you need to build dynamic and modern web applications. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open the folder hgdocs on the Visual Studio code. And for that, I'm going to go inside the applications and then inside the XAMPP, and here we have the ACDocs folder. So click on open, and now we have the ACDocs directory running in the Visual Studio code. Now, the thing is, you don't have to be using XAMPP in order to follow along with this tutorial. You could also be using a local host server instead, but what is important is to have a place where you can install your Laravel project. So for me, it is going to be obviously the ACDocs from the XAMPP, so that is why I will go to the terminal, and inside here, I'm going to call a command that will install the Laravel project, which is composer create dash project Laravel slash Laravel, followed by the name of the project, which for me, it is going to be Laravel dash app. And here again, the reason why I named this project Laravel dash app is because I have created a virtual host that will only accept projects that are stored inside the hdocs and are named this way. But you are free to name it whatever you want, even if you are using SAMP or localhost, this won't affect your outcome. So let's finally hit on enter. So as you can see right now, we are installing the necessary packages need for Laravel. So then once I'm done, I'm going to navigate to the folder project. And to do that, I'm going to type CD followed by the name of the project, which is the Laravel dash app. So as you can see right now, we are inside the project. And as next, I'm going to clear first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the breeze. So for that, I'm going to type composer require Laravel slash breeze dash dash dev. Now, just to quickly explain you what breeze is, breeze is a starter kit that provides Laravel with some basic authentication system. So now let's hit on enter. And as you can see, we have the breeze package installed. So now once that is done, we need to install React using Breeze. But first, I'm going to clear the console. So let's type clear and hit on enter. So now in order to install React, I'm going to type php artisan breeze colon install space react. So let's hit on enter. And this is going to install the all the packages needed for React. So now we are getting information that says Breeze scaffolding has been installed successfully. So if we would scroll up a bit, then you will find here that we have Inertia.js also installed. And what Inertia.js does is that it allows us to combine the server-side rendering from Laravel with the performance and the interactivity of client-side JavaScript frameworks like Vue.js or React. So as next, what we're going to do is we're going to install npm. So let's type npm install and then hit on enter. And then as next, what we're going to do is we're going to run the development server. And for that, we need to type npm run dev. And as you can see, we have the development server running on local host. What we still need to do is we need to run the php artisan serve command. So let's go back to the terminal. And inside here, we have to navigate to the project folder again. So let's type cd laravel dash app. And then I'm going to type php artisan serve to run the server. And as you can see, we have the server running on this IP address. So let's click on it. And here we have a laravel default page running. So just to keep an overview, I am going to close this first, and then I'm going to head back to the VS code. And inside here, instead of having the ACDocs folder opened, I'm going to open the Laravel project folder. So let's select Laravel dash app and click on open. So inside here, I'm going to run the development server again. So let's open the terminal and here let's type npm run dev. And once the development server is running, I will go to the terminal again. And this time I'm going to type php artisan serve. And now the server is running on this IP address like it did before. All right, so now if we would go inside the resources folder and then inside the JS folder, 
Then you will see that we have components, layouts and pages created as well as in JXX file. So if we would go inside the pages folder and here let's create a new folder named users. And inside users, let's create a file and let's name this user component.jsx. And then we will have this file opened. So inside here, I'm going to import React first. So let's type import React. And then I'm going to create a function. And in order to do that, we need to type export default function followed by the name of the function, which for us, it is going to be user component. And then inside the function body, I'm going to return a div. And inside this div, I'm going to create an h1 element that is going to print user component. And in order to show this page on the server, we need to create a route. So let's go to the web.php file. We can find that inside the routes. And once you open the web.php file, you will find a lot of code that we didn't wrote ourselves. Like for example, this code here where we are returning using inertia. And as you can see, we're using inertia here as well. And specifically, here is a line that will render the blade file. So that is what we are going to apply in our route. But first we have to create it. So let's type route colon colon get. And inside the URI, I'm going to type users. And then I'm going to call a function and inside the function body, I am going to return the user component using inertia. And then I'm going to call the render method on inertia. And inside the render method, we need to specify what we are going to return. So when we are returning inside the render method, we are always beginning from the pages folder. So this means that we can start by typing the users folder and then by typing the user component itself. So let's add the semicolon at the end of the line. And we're going to add it here as well. And now save the file. And then head over to the web app. And inside here, we're going to add the endpoint users. And as you can see, we're getting the h1 element that we have used inside the component. And we did that by using inertia to render the user component. So what we can also do is we can go back and here we also have an endpoint dashboard created. So if we would go back to the web app and inside here, if I would type dashboard, then you will see here a basic authentication system that has been created using the Breeze package. And that is something that can be used as a starting point to build web applications using React and Laravel. So that is for today's video where I have showed you how to install React.js or how to combine React.js with Laravel using Breeze and Inertia. Leave a like if you found it helpful and if you are new to the channel, leave a subscribe in order to hear more from me.